The Ferrari Daytona Spider was the hottest car of the 90s, and for good reason. After winning the 1967 24 Hours of Daytona Endurance Race, it cemented itself as one of the most coveted supercars of all time. Unfortunately, production came to a halt, leaving its legend to only grow over the years. Decades later, Ferrari revived the Daytona's spirit with the 812 series, which features the Ferrari 812 GTS as the headliner. A super sensational grand tourer in its own right, German tuner Mansouri finally tuned the literally almost perfect vehicle to produce, the Ferrari 812 GTS Stallone by Mansouri. So, from the price to custom upgrades and daring design modifications around every bend, join us as we explore Mansouri's transformation of the already one in a million vehicle into something even more spectacular that has left the automotive world shaken. Now, when it comes to customizing and modifying cars, it is no secret that Mansori reigns supreme. The luxury car modification company has been around since the 80s, and they've solidified their name in the car industry through ingenious tweaks and creative improvements to already made vehicles. The company's pedigree includes well-known cars like the Lamborghini Venatus, Bentvaga, Blurion, Mansori Don, Mansori Continental GTC V8, and the Le Mansori, amongst others. However, none of their modifications on those vehicles could prepare Mansori enthusiasts for their latest masterpiece. The Ferrari 812 GTS Stallone Mansori is not Ferrari's first venture with the tuner, but by all metrics, it might just be their strongest collaboration yet. It towers above even their other iconic Ferrari alterations, like the Tempesta Verde, Mansori's 4XX Syracuse Spider, and Mansori Cormium. Mansori's goal in crafting the Stallone GTS was simple, deliver an open-top experience beyond all expectations. Notably, the Ferrari 812 GTS is the open-top variant of the 812 Superfast. And where the original 812 GTS strove to provide the ultimate convertible thrill, Mansori's Stallone raises the bar even higher, starting from its performance. The original 2021 Ferrari 812 GTS features a 6.5-liter V12 engine, but can only go from 0 to 120 in about 8.5 seconds, and a governed top speed of 211 miles per hour, despite being the most powerful engine in its class. In the Mansori version, there's been a monumental improvement in this regard. The Stallone retains the V12 heart, but with a vengeance, now generating an impressive 830 horsepower and 740 Nm of torque. This allows for a 0 to 100 time of just 2.8 seconds at a top speed of no less than 216 miles per hour. And because of the extensive optimization of the internal components, combined with the great sounding sports exhaust system, the engine performance of the 812 Superfast has increased to 830 horsepower. But before the performance improvements become noticeable, the most striking modifications to the vehicle are those on its exterior. The redesign is highly distinctive, aggressive, and unlike anything Mansori has ever created. Improvements such as a sleek and aerodynamic design with a custom-made body kit that includes new front and rear bumpers, side skirts, a rear diffuser, and a carbon fiber hood are the first noticeable changes to the vehicle. Usually, although Mansori likes to play around with bold changes on vehicles' exterior during modifications, the new body kit has transformed the original 812 so much that it almost looks outlandish. The car redesign replaces the boring gray exterior of the original Ferrari. It swapped that out for the company's signature Daytona gray paint job, which is a slightly darker version of the original car, thus creating a more sporty effect. Anyone already familiar with the standard 812 GTS would definitely notice this sporty effect immediately, as the Mansori's rendition is more angular as well. The front ends are much sharper, with new bumpers and a central divide in the lower grille, similar to that of the original. The vehicle retains all the air inlets of the original, but there are now vents where the Ferrari shield used to be. And to top up the bold redesign, a menacing splitter was added to the front of the vehicle by Mansori. At the rear, Mansori installed a new carbon diffuser and a massive spoiler that sits atop the deck lid. To pimp the 812 GTS up even further, a big carbon fiber wing that looks like it came straight off of a GT3 race car was also included. And just like in the Ferrari F40, the rear bumper now features air extractors. 
For the side of the car, Mansori took the saying, wheels of steel, literally. The GTS crawls on YN.5 forged wheels from Mansori's own inventory. These wheels measure a whopping 9.5 by 21 inches at the front and 12 by 22 inches at the rear axle. Their rims are hugged by high-performance 265-30 ZR21 tires up front and 335-25 ZR22 rubber on the opposite end. This brings the vehicle's chassis closer to the ground and completes the aggressive styling. But that's not all that makes the new side view fascinating. For this car, Mansori went as far as adding a pair of custom side skirts in between the wheels, as well as new mirror housings, thus enhancing the improved bodywork. Inside, the Mansori is just as impressive. Owners of this vehicle will find Mansori's promise of a sport-oriented atmosphere that perfectly combines functionality and comfort being fulfilled. First, there is a stark contrast with the exterior's dark coloration, as the interior is finished in bright electric blue leather upholstery. It was designed by master craftsmen who accentuated the blue leather with white stripes and carbon fiber trimmings. This blue and white color scheme in the interior applies everywhere, even on the dashboard and door panels. The astonishing pop of color can be seen even from the outside of the vehicle, and it provides a tasteful contrast against a backdrop of Daytona gray of its exterior. Undeniably, however, the Mansori Stallone's piece de resistance lies within, a retractable hardtop for the ages. This engineering marvel can deploy or stow away in a mere 14 seconds at speeds of up to 45 kilometers an hour, which is the quickest convertible conversion of any model before it, allowing open-air freedom to drivers at a moment's notice. Considering that this was one of Mansori's primary goals in redesigning the vehicle, the result can be said to be a total success. Circling back briefly to the insane performance metrics of the vehicle, beyond the increase in horsepower produced by the engine, another key upgrade was to improve the car's exhaust system. The new exhaust lets you feel the Stallone's potential through sound, and no matter what speed the vehicle is driven at, all the driver can hear is a melodious, throaty growl that conveys raw power. Now, all the new luxurious features of the Ferrari 812 GTS Stallone by Mansori, of course, come at a price, both in terms of exclusivity and cost. The improvement to the already high-end and high-performance sports car and the innovative technology and high-quality materials used in its modification means the Ferrari 812 GTS Stallone Mansori cannot be found in just anyone's garage. At a price far outshining that of the actual Ferrari 812 GTS, the Mansori tuned vehicle goes for a starting price of $600,000, an outstanding amount that could potentially be much higher considering that Mansori keeps the vehicle at price on request order. Notably, Mansori isn't the only auto tuner to have taken an interest in transforming the Ferrari 812 GTS superfast vehicle. Novatech Group, another German auto tuner, tried its hands at transforming the Ferrari 812 Superfast into a 215 plus mile per hour open top icon, which it calls the Novatech N Largo. The company equally made drastic improvements, such as improving the engine performance and re sculpting the car lines with new front, rear panels, and bumpers. They also augment the vehicle with carbon components for a sleek and powerful presence. Each N Largo is handcrafted with only 99 produced. And at 150,000 euros, it offers an alternative for anyone who can't afford Mansori's version. Mansori's high price tag will be totally unsurprising to anyone familiar with the car market, as this is the company's way of marketing, and it has always been since it was founded in 1989. The owner, Kurosh Mansori, is an Iranian-British turner based in Brand, Germany. In the past, Kurosh worked with only the highest luxurious brands like Rolls-Royce and Ferrari. But currently, he has expanded his portfolio and has worked with brands such as Rolls-Royce, Bentley, and Bugatti, in addition to Ferrari. However, the Stallone Mansori might just be proof that perhaps the Mansori and Ferrari combo is the best. Every inch of the redesign screams dominance, and although Ferrari forged an icon with the supercar, Mansori has now created a legend for the ages. So, tell us, what do you really think of the Ferrari 812 GTS Stallone Mansori? Also, if you liked the video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and check out this channel for more awesome car content.